What pops into your mind when you think about the word hypnosis? We'll bet our bottom dollar that you probably think about a pocket watch being swung side to side in front of your face as another person talks to you in a calm, collected voice saying, look into my eyes, as you fall into a deep, deep trance. Sorry to burst your bubble, but the way mainstream media portrays hypnotism is entirely wrong. It doesn't involve swinging pendulums, and it isn't used to let you fall into an unconscious, mindless abyss. Hypnosis is used primarily to allow a person to be more in control of their thoughts, helping them to have a more mind-body control to resolve internal conflicts. With that said, hypnotherapy has been used by several people to train themselves to eat less food. Pretty cool, huh? But the big question is, does it work? Welcome back to the Good Health Gorilla. Today's video may sound a little spooky, but we're here to clear out some of the confusion around hypnosis by spilling the geeky bits behind it and for you to know if hypnotherapy works when it comes to eating less food if you're in the pursuit of losing weight. So go ahead, get cozy by finding a comfortable spot, look into your screen, tune out the noise around you, relax your mind and body, and let's begin in 3, 2, 1. To give you a quick background on what hypnosis is, it is a form of alternative therapy where a person is brought into a state of relaxation and concentration with the help of a hypnotist, who, by the way, are highly trained clinical specialists. And no, they don't wear long black robes. The hypnotist will guide you into this highly relaxed and focused mental state through guided verbal relaxation, mental images, or music. Once you're under hypnosis, your mind will be more focused, attentive, and concentrated. This kind of makes your mind pliant. When your mind is relaxed and focused, the chances of you following a clinician's instructions such as lifestyle changes and dietary changes are more likely to happen, thus enabling the potential for weight loss. Now to the most crucial part, does it work? Hypnotherapy is something that not a lot of people dip their toes into. Moreover, there isn't a lot of research done about this kind of weight loss approach, but the limited number of articles that are available suggest that hypnosis could be a supplemental tool in achieving weight loss by eating less. In a randomized controlled trial conducted last 2018 on patients with severe obesity, it was found that the people who underwent hypnosis showed positive results in losing weight compared to those who didn't. The patients who did the technique lost about 9.6 kilograms in more than a year and they even reduced the number of calories they were eating whereas those who didn't do hypnosis only lost an average of 5.6 kilograms. These positive results were also backed by another research done in 2015 where it was reported that hypnotherapy was an effective tool to aid in weight loss. Another study that was done in 2020 also suggested positive effects it was shown that the body mass index of the patients have reduced and their serum leptin levels have also changed significantly. Serum leptin plays a role in hunger because leptin is basically a hormone that acts on certain parts of your brain in order to prevent hunger and manage your hunger levels so you won't feel hungry if your body doesn't need external resources of energy aka food. And lastly, a study conducted on 60 obese women was also done in 2016 and the results have shown that those who practice hypnotherapy lost weight and developed better eating habits. With all these studies suggesting positive results, it can be concluded that hypnotherapy works as a great supplementary tool to help you eat less food. It is important to note though, that hypnotherapy is a topic that has not been explored deeply and that not a lot of studies can support its effectiveness in the long run. Most, if not all of these studies have also subjected their patients to dietary and lifestyle changes. Now, to all of you who are interested in trying out hypnosis to control your caloric intake, we know you have a lot of questions. One of them being, if I won't be meeting a person in a long black robe with a pocket watch to swing in front of me, then what am I to expect if I want to do hypnotherapy? For starters, your hypnotist will most likely begin the session with a quick rundown on what hypnosis is, how it works, and how you can achieve your goals with it. After that, they will start leading you into a hypnotic induction using a gentle and soothing voice. This process leads you into a more serene state of mind which will help you feel relaxed and comfortable. Here, you'll most likely be more open to new suggestions that your therapist may introduce such as improving your eating habits as well as your lifestyle. The length and cost of each session may vary depending on the certain goals you have so that's also something to consider. Frankly, hypnosis on its own won't help you eat less or lose weight. This kind of therapy is only used to amplify the steps you're taking in improving your goals, so here are some tips you can do to help you achieve them. 
Number one, watch what you eat. Keeping track of the meals you eat throughout the day will let you be more aware if you're eating healthy, nutrient-rich foods. Try to eat foods that are high in fiber since these stay in your body longer, thus making you feel fuller for longer, which will make you eat less. Plus, the fiber is great for your gut health too. Number two, stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of fluids throughout the day will help you prevent from overeating because mild dehydration can be masked as hunger. So the next time you eat a hearty and filling meal and immediately feel hunger after just a few hours, drink a big glass of water and see how your body feels. Your body may only be lacking water. Number three, move your body. Find an activity that you enjoy doing and try to do it most days of the week. This will keep your metabolism up and running while making you lose extra weight and releasing happy hormones. A win-win for your physical and mental health. And lastly, number four, keep track of what you eat. This can be tricky for some people and this may not work well for everyone. More specifically, tracking your food can get quite tedious if you do it long enough. But if you can, just make sure to keep track if you're eating nutrient rich and healthy foods that are good for your body. Eating a variety of healthy foods will make you feel saturated for a longer amount of time and you'll also look and feel better if you know you're putting good food inside your body. So now that you know the nuts and bolts about hypnosis, you're probably wondering if this is something you should do. Fortunately, hypnotherapy is generally safe for everybody and adverse reactions to this kind of approach are rare. However, you have to keep in mind that risks are omnipresent. Potential risks you may experience with hypnotherapy include but are not limited to headaches, dizziness, anxiety, and even false memory creation. If you're someone who has mental health complication or is someone who experiences hallucinations or delusion, consulting your physician before starting hypnotherapy sessions would be great for you to know if this is something you could try out. If you're someone who's alcohol or drug dependent, this is not for you. It goes without saying that for you to achieve your health goals, you have to put in the effort and make dietary and lifestyle changes. But if you want to amp up your health game and you've got some spare cash, then hypnosis may be one of the many things that you may want to try out. After all, hypnosis has shown promising results. And frankly, what's not to love about achieving a healthy lifestyle while also having a serene and focused state of mind? Now before we officially end this video, we'd like to ask you a question. Is hypnosis something that you try out for yourself? Feel free to share with us your answers in the comments below. And if you have any experience with losing weight and hypnosis, we'd love to hear your input too. Thank you for tuning in today. If you learned something new from this video, show us some love by clicking on the like button. And if you're new here, feel free to click on that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss out on knowing how to be the healthiest version of yourself. We'll see you in the next video.